Hello. Going to do a real world range test and we're going to be comparing driving in Cornwall in June around about 20 degrees Celsius can compare it to our frozen north road trip that we did uh, through England and Scotland um, last December and seeing how the real world range compares with those two trips so I hope you can stick around. Please like if you do and consider subscribing and hitting that notifications bell. That would be fantastic. But if not, thanks for watching. Jennifer and I are having a treat with two nights stay at the lovely Pol Ruin on the Beach Hotel on the Lizard. Well, we live in Cornwall, up in the north, but it's still about 75 miles each way. So I'm hoping to get there and back uh, with just one charge, for charging at home. That uh, depends on how much we use uh, the car when we get there. There are public chargers on the way, including Tesla's most westerly supercharger in Cornwall, but I'm hoping not to use it. Some people say owning an EV is a con because all the electricity comes from oil. But it's not true, as more and more of our energy is coming from other sources. And looking at the excellent National Grid Live app shows you just how much of our electricity does not come from oil for those people who think that it all does come from oil. You can see in real time where UK energy is coming from. Coal, gas, solar, wind, hydroelectric, nuclear, biomass each day. Week, year and renewables are catching up fossil fuels fast every day, week, month and year. Plus the growing amount of people with solar panels and some with their own wind turbines getting free EV energy to drive their vehicles amazing use of the sun and the wind not forgetting of course tidal and wave power so much energy there that uh, we can use without using dirty oil so the roads to Pol Ruin on the beach hotel on the Lizard are mostly Cornish A and B roads with a few narrow lanes and we love the location of this hotel perched on the cliffs with the Atlantic Ocean uh, Penzance on the horizon in the distance it's a wonderful location to stay if you want to spoil yourself and we highly recommend it. It has lovely grounds with lounges on the terraces, inside and outside pool, great restaurants, bar and even a pool table. Oh and they will take drinks out onto the terraces as we found out. So the real world range to Scotland in December was not good but bearing in mind it was between minus 2 and minus 10 degrees cold and much of the travelling was on motorways where it's hard not to drive at 70 miles an hour and EVs don't like that speed or faster. The range of the car for the frozen north trip was only 175 miles as I worked out, much less than the 250 miles plus Tesla say it should do. But conditions were as bad as they get here. So how did our slightly slower drive to West Cornwall from North Cornwall compare in much warmer 20 degree sunny conditions. We drove 165 miles using 34 kilowatt hours or 207 watts per mile, giving a real world range of 241 miles, which is a huge improvement on the frozen north trip of only 175 miles. And that's a whopping 66 mile improvement. But even the low 175 mile real world range was not a problem travelling the length of the UK in the depths of winter. There were plenty of Tesla superchargers around 80 to 100 miles apart, so it really wasn't a problem. On the way back from Paul Lewin on the Beach Hotel on the Lizard, we stopped and the trip recorder on the touchscreen recorded 183 watts per mile for the last 28 miles and that would have been a real world range of 273 miles, way better than the Tesla touchscreen prediction, but it was only for 28 miles. Did you know if you are thinking of buying a Tesla, you can get a discount by using a link from a friend. You and they will get some free supercharger miles. If you don't have a friend that uh, has a Tesla, then I hope you can consider me a friend. And I hope you can use my link below. Click on there and you can order your Tesla in the normal way. The only difference is you will get some free Tesla freebies 
and so will I. So it's a win-win situation. So I hope you can take use of it. Please like if you do and consider subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications. That would be fantastic. But if not, thanks for getting this far. What do you think? Was it helpful or not? Please leave your comments below and don't forget to take your reusable coffee mug wherever you go. Thanks ever so much. Take care. Bye.